Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Real Life Ra. Now, if you guys read the title correctly, then I hope you guys are in for a treat, and you, I hope you guys like Redstone a lot. Now, I like Redstone a lot. Um, I've actually done it a little bit. Um, by a little bit, I mean I've made a few computers, redstone computers. I made a working calculator that can add, subtract, multiply, divide, all that. I've done, you know, light switches that can alter from the stepping op opening of doors and stuff, but this is something very extreme. I've built a beta version on my redstone map, but I haven't told anyone how to do it or anything about it. But I want this for uh, for you guys, because uh, many of you asked for a tutorial, and now I can do this. By the way, I hope you guys uh, liked my Hunger Games for the Cruise Liner. I, that was my side sort of big project that I've been working on. Um, but now that's done, I get to work on this. Now, in case you're wondering about this map, this is a all stand, uh, sandstone map. This is on Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. There's some proof for you. There's some proof as well, scrolling through here. Um, but basically, I just wanted to go ahead and... Uh, you know, work on something different. This is a, with a new program that Oprizy LP made. Um, this program allows us to go ahead and make any, you know, surface we want, any block layer we want. So it works out really well. Anyways, let's get uh, down to this. Okay, guys. So in this video, um, for the first part, we are going to just learn how to build this. This is the displayer, okay? Basically, what will happen is there will be decoders and displayers. With the decoders that will lead to the displayers, this is kind of like something you'd see with a clock, okay? Whether in real life or in Minecraft. So basically, it is formed kind of like an 8, okay? And with that digital 8, just like you know on digital clocks, they can make numerous uh, and actually all numbers out of the eight itself just depending on which one show up that's the same thing in same way clocks work on minecraft xbox and minecraft redstone in general um but anyways we're doing more of an eight with the corners closed off right here we're not actually using the corners down here they're not actually going to be able to move we just have their uh, them there so you know they look better and we don't have to worry about them anyways let's start and let's build this Okay, guys, so we're here and we're building this. Now, what happens is we need to go five across, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now it's nine up. There we go. I believe it's nine. One, two, three, uh, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, perfect. Now you want to go ahead across in the middle of it and put a thing like that. Okay, now it sort of looks like an eight if you got rid of, like, uh, the corners, each corner, then this middle thing that'll look more like an eight that you usually see for any, uh, piston thing. Now, yes, we are using pistons. It's what you can only use right now. We could wait until the up next update when redstone, uh, lamps are able to be used, um, but we're going to start this now, okay? And we can just transition. I can show you an easy way to change that and use redstone lamps instead. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and leave a space between this um, block and you want to put sticky pistons, okay? So for now, even though I said we won't need these bottom two blocks, we're going to put them there just for our ease of building them, building the backboard basically you could say. Um, down over like that, you want to go up, and notice they all have to be facing towards the iron uh, wall, or, you know, eight thing. Uh, now, I am using iron because I think it looks the cleanest. Uh, you can r really use whatever material uh, material you want. It's really up to you guys. doesn't really matter. So you can destroy those two back blocks, like I said. Now you can go ahead and you can build uh, two, okay? And put two here and two here. So basically on these three middle pieces, okay? Now, since we won't need this, there won't be anything connected to it. So you want to go ahead and you put two there, okay? And then one like that. Two there, then one like that. Okay? So we don't get confused. We'll go ahead and we'll put these uh, a line across of redstone repeaters. We'll do the same up here and the same up here. Okay? Now, what's going to happen is we're going to then go over here and do two across. So it's sort of like a little gap. Okay? Then we're going to want to extend this out actually one further. Put a redstone torch here and put some redstone leading up to it. And then you want to go ahead and put a repeater right there. And then you want to put a repeater right here. 
and you can choose to have a repeater here or you can go ahead and actually use a piece of redstone on this side I use a piece of redstone it's really like up to you whatever is easiest it both work is what I'm basically saying uh, so you want to do the same on the other side and as you see as we're going along further um, it's extending these out now doesn't look any like anything because all these haven't grabbed a piece of uh, iron and pulled it back out, but it will pretty soon. Um, and another quick tip, why we are using redstone torches for our power supply is because they're very easy to go ahead and like turn off. Like You'll see in the de demonstration, I can just delete them and stuff and it can pull the section back, but we don't want that to happen. We want an easy way to cut out our power. So basically when we actually send the signal and we want a certain letter to be sent, all we have to do is just press the button, it'll send it down a certain path and it'll pull out that one section, basically cancel out the redstone torch and power. So that is basically why we are using that. It's a very quick and efficient way to do that. Okay. So now that you have those two bottom pieces, you want to go ahead and actually add two more pieces uh, one level higher while leaving a space for your redstone. With this side, you can go ahead and just as you use redstone, you could use these repeaters. Really, like I said, up to you guys. Now, from this section, you want to go to the second one in, and then you want to put like that, one block, okay? And then you want to do one back, and then leave one gap, and put one up like that diagonally, okay? Then you want to put a repeater, and a repeater. Okay, then you want to use your power supply, put a redstone torch, piece of redstone, piece of redstone, and piece of redstone, piece of redstone. There you go. And now for this bottom thing, you want to extend it so it's actually two past uh, this thing right here. So one, two. Okay. Now, so the uh, the way we could get the redstone current to this these pistons and to these repeaters could be to use uh, redstone. So we could go ahead and go like this. But as you can see, it connects it. Now we could just cancel it out by doing that, but I found a much simpler way and that is just by only putting repeaters here. It does not create any lag unless you actually intentionally like delay them, which wouldn't be a good idea. Then you just want to put your redstone torch in the middle and then your two redstone pieces on the side and then it does not interfere with this at all. This could be off and then that is off and likewise with vice versa with this thing. Um, so now you want to go up to the second level and you want to go ahead and like just like over here You can go straight ahead and put it right in there But as you can see since we're not using repeaters all the way We actually need to have the power connect to the single redstone torch You can put the blocks uh, with the blockers to form right on the side like I just did You can come up here and we need to actually extend this side out the corners out by three Put a single redstone torch on either side and then you want to go ahead and put um, redstone repeaters all the way so that it this redstone torch only pow, uh, powers a single line because we'll need this corner block to be there in some letters and in some letters we do not want it to be there okay for this middle thing you can just put a single redstone torch in the middle and then two pieces of redstone on the side so there you go guys this is exactly that this is how we're going to be making our letters um, eventually we will you know with the screen fill this all in um, and then we'll be able to make letters so it is in uh, as an example we'll go ahead and we'll make the letter A so you can go ahead and get rid of that bottom one and you can see it's an A now the advantage of having these corner blocks is you can make them a little bit more custom you can choose which type of letter uh, A you want you can have it with the corners or as you can see like that without the letters and that also works pretty well with some um, other letters that really you'd not have any other choice other than to cancel some of them out like the letter B so we can go ahead and some of them are lowercase and some are uppercase now I will also not be able to use every single letter in the alphabet um, in this uh, computer but you know unless I want to make this thing five times larger and only use redstone lamps then I'd have to do that then I can make every single letter and I, as I said I will make an update and tell you guys how to make every single letter but for now we use pistons and we'll just use a smaller thing like this now I actually got wrong in the uh, rate of the wrong one so as you can see right here it is a B except for once we get rid of this middle piece so basically you just cancel out to make it like look like a B so not a B like that so basically then you can make a C you can get rid of that you can put this one back in, and you can get rid of that. And I believe this is a C. Yep, see, that's a C. Um, you can even put this one back in for you. And now that's a C. It will look more like the letters will actually, um, when everything else is, the screen is surrounding it. 
But that is basically how we're going to have our letter system, guys. I hope that was slow enough. If that was way too fast, then tell me, and I'll learn in the future to, um, in the next video, to go a lot slower. I just hope you guys enjoyed that. This is how short the video is going to be. Some videos might be a little bit longer. Stay tuned for part two, guys. If I get 10 likes on this video, then I, I know that's not a lot, especially for me having, <laughs> reaching finally 5,000 subs, but if I get 10 likes on this video, guys, then I will go ahead and upload part two. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.